good day students i shall be continuing with my series on chips and game for rats and game means bros and microscopy explain this particular chart appears extremely simple but then it might be difficult for us to describe it vividly let us see how best we can do it fine this can be a specimen for us a mounted specimen of course this has been taken from wikipedia thanks to it i am finding a resected specimen of the uterus with cervix this elongation is the cervix and what is seen in this picture is the external surface it is not just round it is bosselated it is bulgy and always we will have to see a cut surface when i go to a cut surface over here i am finding some large tumor which is displacing the uterine cavity normally this uterine cavity is something like a triangle but here it has compressed and pushed to one side and incidentally i am able to see a solid pinkish white tumor which has got a world appearance and this is the normal myometrium that i am seeing and this is the cut surface of the cervix it has got an abothian cyst this picture is again from wikipedia a classical picture which i would like you people to appreciate and describe so this is again the specimen of the uterus this is the fundus over here and i am finding a large lesion that is bulging into the uterine cavity yellowish white or pinkish white you can call it not much areas of necrosis and it is bulging into the uterine cavity the uterine wall in turn is becoming slightly thinned out here whereas it is normal in this region this will be a classical picture that i would like you people to describe well so it is a specimen of the uterus i am able to see the v shape or the pear shape uterus and these are the couple of fallopian tubes and the ovaries this is the cervix over here and the vaginal canal these dark blue structures are the tumors we are talking about namely the leiomyometa look at the locations this is the mucosa immediately beneath the mucosa it is located so it is called a submucosal fibroid or leiomyoma this is the outer layer or the serosa and beneath that i am able to see so it is called a sub serosa it is right in the middle of the muscle and i call it intramural sometimes there can be a stalk like structure supporting it and it goes outside the uterus and it is called pedunculated so these are the various types of leiomyometa which can be physically seen in an x ray or by the gynecologist the same thing is very well described in a diagrammatic form which i would like you people to kindly draw in your records look at this again a triangular or a pear shape uterus this is the uterine cavity the endometrium over here and this is the myometrium these are the couple of fallopian tubes on either side in this it is right in the middle of the muscle i would call it intramural fibroid and here it is becoming pedunculated here also but it is sub serous this is sub mucosal in this case and it is sub serous in this case i would like you people to kindly draw these pictures this is a very strange but an interesting picture picked up from kalami a wonderful source 
This is a fallopian tube. I am identifying it by means of the fimbrial end of the fallopian tube. This particular word you must have in mind because whenever you get a specimen of a uterus, we will identify it by means of the fallopian tube and the fimbriae. And this is a very broad ligament, the broad ligament itself, in which I am finding a tumor. So this is called a wandering leomite. It originated from the uterus and it has got into the broad ligament, a wandering leomite. After some time, it will get its blood supply from the ovarian artery, in which case we will call it a parasitic leomite. So we have seen the various situations where it can be located, the gross and the microscopic pictures of this. A microscopy is what we are going to see. Rather, this is a low power view, this is a high power view. In both, I am finding bundles of spindle shaped cells. There is no space between the cells. All the dark ones are the nuclei and the paler eosinophilic one is the cytoplasm. The nucleus is elongated and it is supposed to be cigar shaped. So bundles and bundles of these smooth muscle cells are there. And then what is this? Whenever I cut the bundle across, I'll be finding that like your tips of the fingers, which is called an end on view of the smooth muscle or a cross section of the smooth muscle. So bundles of spindle shaped cells closely packed come and they have got a eosinophilic cytoplasm, elongated nuclei with blunt ends. And this tumor, when compared with the earlier ones, I find that this is not well circumscribed. It is somewhat irregular. It is becoming fleshy. There are signs of degeneration. It is pinkish over here, becoming yellowish, and the tumor is obviously enlarged. It is not very well circumscribed. So this can become a malignant, or rather it is a malignant counterpart of the tumor called the leomyosarcoma. Leomyosarcoma is the malignant counterpart of the leomyo. And see over here, here also I'm able to see some spindle shaped cells, but there is a lot of edema and pleomorphism. These nuclei are dark, hyperchromatic. This is large. This nucleus is much larger, almost like a giant cell. There can be mitotic figures, all the changes hemorrhage, necrosis can be seen, which is a classical feature of a leomyosarc. So in this class, we had seen the uterus with the leomyoma, which can be solitary as in this case, or it can be multiple, and these are the various locations. The diagram that I will have to draw, in both these, I find that it is a well-circumscribed and a world tumor Whereas here, it is irregular, fleshy, and pleomorphic. Here, it is more or less regular, whereas I'm able to see mitotic figures, hyperchromasia, etc. in a pleomyosarcoma. When it migrates, it is called a wandering leomyoma. It can derive the blood supply from the ovarian artery. It is called a parasitic leomyoma. Now, what is the importance of this particular chart? It can be kept as a gross specimen, Microscopy, it can be a slide for you people. Either of this is important as a short note or a short question. The entire chart can be composed and kept as a spotter, slide, or a chart for description. Biomosia, of course, the jar will be in front of you and the examiner can ask you a series of questions. If you answer well, they can ask you what are the other tumors that are similar to this? One is a fibroma. Leomyoma is smooth muscle. Fibroma is composed of fibroblast like cells. And to distinguish between the two, we will do a special stain. We will do a Van Giesen stain where the muscle takes up yellow color. Leomyoma becomes yellow in color, whereas fibrous and collagen will be red in color. The mason strikeworm on the contrary, the Leomyoma will be blue in color. 
So these two you people will have to remember. Mesom strichrome blue color and a Van Giesen muscle takes up yellow color. That is the completion of it. And these are my sources of reference thanks to LME and Wikipedia. Go back to Rats and Game. Thank you again.